must be day seven. So um, I'm just getting the material unloaded that my dad brought from Edmonton yesterday. And yeah, we'll uh, finish up those two top transom pieces, whatever you want to call them, and then keep going on staining. Now I figure I'll just spend the first half hour here. Um, I come a little bit earlier and I'm just gonna clean up, you know, some of the stuff, some of the tools that we're not gonna need anymore, like the track saw, we're done with that. Framing nailer will be done with, um, probably even the compressor. So I'll uh, get some of that stuff cleaned up and sort of get the yard looking good again. All right, so I went and picked up a smaller paintbrush here and I'm just working on getting in those little crevices there. Got those pieces up. Garrett's just working on cutting the slats. And then, yeah, we'll just keep staining here. So update for today, uh, we ran out of stain, but we got most of it done. And then I sort of accidentally did two coats here, but turns out I really like how it looks as opposed to like that just being one coat. It gives it quite a bit more depth and color and everything like that. So I've decided we're gonna do two coats. So I just need some more stain. So I'll have to get some somewhere. I don't know where, but I, I think we'll do the, the ceiling again. It'll be a lot of extra work, but it'll look way better. So that's what we're gonna do. And then another thing I was working on, just talk to the client. Um, she does want to put some of these blocks in. So I just cut those. And then they're pretty small, so I don't know, like I made them quite small just because these front openings are a little smaller. So if I made them like any bigger, they'd almost be touching and it would just look silly. So I made short to short side six inches. So those proportions will look about right. And then even when we come over to the bigger openings, you know, It'll just add a little bit to it. But I'm just gonna see if like a bit of a radius in there would look good or what, maybe like a, I don't know, 20 inch radius or something. But other than that, I'll uh, get these stained up once I get more stain and then we'll put them in afterwards just so we don't have like a bunch of drips. Because if I were to install them first, then it would be hard to, you know, stain everywhere and it would just be dripping down and not look very good. So we'll stain these separately and then put them in. But uh, yeah, other than that, deck still needs to be stained. We'll probably do like a good two or three coats just so it's a nice durable finish. But other than that, I'll kind of finish cleaning up, maybe get rid of the shingle pile. Um, just because we're getting towards the end here, I uh, want to start cleaning up so we don't have a full day of cleanup. But yeah, other than that, um, it takes quite a while to stain under the soffit. Oh, it looks like I missed a piece. I'll have to go back and do that. But 
yeah, you know, for a part that will probably rarely get seen, that's got to be half the effort of staining right there, just because it's so hard to get everywhere. But yeah, we sort of ran out of stain just back there. So I'll grab another can and yeah, should be good. All right, now this is actually day eight, but we don't have much to do today because we ran out of stain. So my dad's gonna pick me some more of that up, but we have something else planned for today that you'll see in a future video. I don't know when, I don't wanna give too much away because it's gonna be pretty exciting. But anyways, what I'm doing right now is just sanding down this door. Um, you know, for an $80 door, I'm pretty disappointed in the quality of it. But I didn't really have time to make one, and this seems to work just fine. So, I mean, once it gets sanded down and all the joints sort of smooth, it should be okay. <laughs> it feel a lot better so yeah I'll just sort of smooth it out it'll have to be trimmed just a little bit which I wanted because some of these edges aren't really the nicest so I'll just sort of square those up if possible and yeah then we'll maybe try and we should have time today this other video that I got planned shouldn't take too long so we'll try and get that fitted, I guess, and maybe some of the screens, but that'll pretty much be all we can do for today. So another thing I did today was make these little corner decorative braces and stained them up. So this is the second coat I have on. Uh, it looks pretty vibrant. So I'm just gonna let these dry for now and then we'll put them on tomorrow and yeah that should add a little bit to it at least sort of give it some extra depth and texture i suppose you could say so thank you guys for watching i hope you're enjoying this little series so far um we might get i don't know one or two more episodes in we're almost done so yeah stay tuned and get ready for the next project, which I will start filming right away here. So yeah, thanks for watching and stay healthy everyone.